Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs and today I'm going to show you how to make my little 3D octopus without using a loom. I've had a lot of people asking me whether we can do one without a loom and absolutely yes we can. So it's going to be a short little video and there are going to be sections where you will pause me and do some of this yourself. But what we're going to do, we're, I'm going to use pink and blue, we'll put him here, he can sit here, and we're only going to use our hook. I've made a couple of things already in advance and we're going to get started. Pick a couple of colours that you want to use um, I'm using pink and blue and I'm also going to have um, six black bands, three for each side of the eye, okay? Now, I'm going to show you what I've already made are my little chains. I've done one with an eye and I've done five without. We need eight. He has eight legs. So what we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to make one with an eye and then we're going to do that'll be one two three four five six seven and then we'll do one without an eye all right so let's get started we're going to be when you when you're working on your hook you start from the bottom where your end cap is so i'm going to use a pink band and wrap it once and twice okay and i'm going to slide that onto a pair of blue bands like that. I'm then going to slide onto a pair of pink bands. Move them over, slide them on, reclaim the end onto your hook. Okay, take a pair of blue bands and slide on. Try and make sure that they don't uh, get too tangled. Okay, so we've got that. Let's do another pair of pink. And these are for his legs. All right, and then another pair of blue. We're going to be using four pair of blue. So that's our third pair of blue. Let's use another pink. See how that's tangled? So I want that to be straightened up so that it's not tangled like that. So this is our third pair of pink of um, blue. Let's do our last pair of blue. Fourth pair of blue. And then after that you're going to use the predominant colour that you're using for the octopus head which will be one, two, three, four and five of the same colour. Okay, now if we're going to be doing an eye, let's do our first one here, one and two, at number three you will use your three black bands. Place them on the end of your hook and loop these over like that and reclaim the end of your band. Then we do another two in pink. Make sure they're not tangled. So that's one. And here's number two. Okay, so that is how we do an eye string for them. All right, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pair of pink with a pink end cap and one, two, three, four pair of blue and then you've got your little eye here. Now I'm going to hold this on a holding hook until I'm ready for it. So I'm going to pop it here on the end of my holding hook. Now when we do the little octopus and you're, you're going to be making these other little chains by yourself. Okay, let's do one together. So it's a single pink. Wrap it once and twice. Here's our first pair of blue. And our first pair of pink. Second pair of blue. Remember, we need four pair of blue. 
Now, you can do these any colour you like. I mean, you just have to work out. Oops. There's our third pair of blue. And our fourth is coming up next. There we go. That's our fourth pair of blue. So in total, when you do these, you're going to be looking at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 pair of bands with an end cap for each. Okay, so so far we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and an end cap. So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Five pair of pink. So there's one. We're not doing eyes on this one because I already did both sets of eyes. But you will need two of these chains to have eyes and six to not have eyes. So you will need to pause the video and make the rest of your little chains. As I said, remember, look how tangled that is. Let's untangle it so it looks nice. So one, two, three, four, our last pair. Here we go. Now, let's place them on our holding hook all together, okay? And the way we're going to make sure we do it is you have to have you have to spread them out evenly so i've got my other two here so i've got two an eye a, a blank one a space between the eyes the other eye we need two on this side but because we've got eight and if you've made them all at the same time it's a lot easier you're going to have an extra one here okay don't worry about it, that's absolutely fine. So, pause the video, make your others so that we have eight little chains here, two of them with eyes, and when you put them together, make sure the eyes are in the middle, okay? So that we have a single cha a, a chain, a chain, a chain, a chain with eyes, a chain, a chain with eyes, a chain, and a chain. All right, now, if we're ready to get going again. You can pick clear bands. You can pick the same as the predominant colour. The predominant colour for me at this stage is pink. So I'm going to use pink. I'm going to pick two pink bands and I'm going to hold them on the end of my hook like this. I'm going to move all of these loops onto the two pink bands and again try and make sure that they don't get too twisted you don't want your um, two bands on the end of your hook to go slack if you release it, the um, tightness of it you will easily make all these bands fall off so thread them all on Now, once you've threaded them all on, reclaim the end of your band like that so that you've got them both, both sides on your hook. You're going to take the one closest to you up, over and off and pull it so that it's tight. And taking the first chain that's closest to you, you're going to pop that through. So splay this loop out, the tie-off loop out and pop that first leg first octopus leg through and remove your hook and push that down so that's that's secured that okay so he's looking a bit sort of like a Rastafarian like that now this is where we have the tricky bit you're going to be starting from that extra one at the back okay so you've got two here an eye and an eye and the middle one 
and then you have this one. You're going to count down how many loops you have. So if you look at this from our pairs, this was our first one here, we're going to go through that one. So you're going to leave one loop and go through the second, okay? And you're going to do that on all of them. So the first loop is there, go through the second, and we're going to thread our hook through the second on all of them. Okay, it's a bit fiddly and a bit time consuming, but it does work. So make sure you leave the first loop, you're just going through the second. Okay, and when I say going through, you're going through the middle there. Okay, grab a pair of pink bands. Now, you can, as I said, you can use pink or you can use clear, it doesn't matter. Slide each of the legs onto these two new bands. Okay. Hold them tightly. I know this is fiddly. Hold them through. When you've got to the end here, you're going to reclaim the end of your bands, those two little bands there. And we're going to pull these two through the other, up and over like that. Okay. Now we've got our tie off hook. Find that extra leg. Where's the extra leg? You've got two there. This is our extra leg. Splay this out and pop the extra leg, which is next to it, through it and let go. Now these pink bands are not going to go all the way to the top. They're going to just sit, and I'm trying to make it so they're not too twisted. They're going to sit on the outside of that leg. Okay, that's our first one. Go back to that extra leg. You can't really see it too much. Now we're going to go down through. Now you could do number three. Okay, poke your hook through number three. So count down, there's our first one, here's two, here's three. And basically what you're doing is the, mm, there's a cat hair, that's nice, <laughs> is you're manually putting the crossover bands in. So there's one, two and three. Poke my hook. Three is the one with the eyes. Two, three. Three has the eyes. One, two, three. One, two, three. Like that. Now I have a handle on my hook so it makes it difficult to squeeze everything on. Put two bands on the end of your hook and again slide the legs through onto those two bands. Sometimes it's easier if you actually put the band on your finger like that and ease these over. Make sure it, if it's um, tight, spread them out a bit. There we go. And our last one. It is tight. I'm not going to tell you fibs. Pop that over and this goes under that. And then let's find the extra leg. Here it is. Splay this out. And we pop that extra leg through, like so. You can remove your hook. But again, it's going to just sit on the top of the bands here. And I think we need one more. Let's stretch this out a bit. Okay. 
Now I'm going to go through number four, which is here. Okay, there's four. So one, two, three, four. It's the one before your your last pink before the blue. So it's two up from the blue. my two pink bands and they're not terribly stretchy these I think you'll find that clear bands are a little stretchier I believe these uh, these are the sweet the rainbow loom sweet bands and I think that they might actually be silicon and if they are they don't stretch very far pull it through so there's two bands on that, but I think there's only one. Get these legs out of the way. <laughs> there's one. Here's our last one. These are not stretchy bands at all. Ah, and I've figured out why there's an extra little. We have a straggler. We have a stowaway. There's three bands on that instead of two. That's better. Grab the end of my bands and pull that through. Lay it out and pop that little leg through like that. So we're sort of stitching up the back here with those little legs. And as you can see, he has sort of formed a little octopus. Now you can do number five if you choose to, it's completely up to you. Um, he does sit on a pencil rather well. He's quite tight there, so he fits onto the end of a pencil as well. But if you don't want him on a pencil, he just sits really cutely like that. So I hope you enjoy making one without using a loom at all. Have fun. Take care.